So now, ladies and gentlemen, live and in colour, it's Mr. Wayne Lovejuice. The other day I produced a lily Had a cat with an interesting chappy People said that the YouTube algorithm Really aren't that happy If a channel only broadcasts once a week So we decided we could text ya Whenever we've got a piece of news In our new book on the track extra Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is John Downs. I'm the director of the Centre for Fortune Zoology, and welcome to another episode of On the Track Extra. For those of you who don't know, twice a week I bring you a show on YouTube here, and it's called On the Track. And there's a full-length episode on Saturday afternoons, and a short one like this on Wednesday evenings. On the Track deals with hard science, weird shit, and something that I like to call surreality. And I usually then say, if you don't know what surreality is, this is it, and show you some piece of weird footage of me twatting about with a photograph of Ernest Borgnine, or with Hennis, the make-believe rubber chicken, saying something peculiar. But do you honestly think I underestimate my audience so much that I have to do this every week? No, I don't. So, if you don't know what surreality is, you're just going to have to go and find out. I'm indebted to our producer, Louis, for this first story. It's an absolutely gorgeous piece of footage of one of the rarest creatures on the planet. This species, Chirodectes maculatus, has only been known before from one specimen that was found in 1997 off the Great Barrier Reef on the eastern coast of Australia. This new specimen is from the coast of Papua New Guinea and although people are claiming it is the same species, there are enough differences morphologically between this little jellyfish and its predecessor to suggest that it may actually be a completely new species. But isn't it beautiful? It's one of the most incredibly delicate and gorgeous creatures I have seen in many, many years. And I would love to see one of these creatures in the flesh, as it were, even though jellyfish don't really have flesh. One of the things that also suggests that this may be a new species in this previously monophyletic genus is that it's nearly twice the size of the original specimen, which is only about 5.9 inches in height. People ask, is it venomous? Well, there's no accounts of people being stung by one, and the only person who was stupid enough to put his hands near the stinging mechanisms of the original jellyfish didn't get stung. So it may well not be venomous. However, recent experts on this specimen have said that it probably is because of its size. How venomous, we don't know. Are venomous enough to kill you? Who knows? Oh, and by the way, Louis found this story on Reddit and told me that there are no copyright problems about taking a piece of video from Reddit. So if the internet police come and leap upon me with their fangs or the gnashing, it's not my fault, it's Louis's. And now I want to go to another aquatic story, this time coming from none other than Miss Maxine, who's very good at pulling interesting things out of interesting hats. Look at this. I've always been interested in the Essex coast, mainly because when I was a boy I loved, 
I must admit I still do love, the books of Arthur Ransom, the Swallows and Amazons books, two of which are set along this coastline. And I've always been particularly fond of a book called Secret Water, which is set in what is now Hanford Water Nature Reserve. Just up the coast from the real secret water is a little town called Manning Tree, which is on the estuary of the River Stour. But I'm sure I'm going to be told by serried ranks of angry Essex folk that the river is pronounced Stour or Stour or something, but it looks like Stour to me. And I think the Stour makes it sound like the river that goes through Stourbridge. And that's the other side of the country. I went there once and I had an amusing time, but that's another story. Back to the estuary of this particular river, however it's pronounced. The other day, and I'm recording this on the 14th of July, the other day somebody found or saw a shark, a true bona fide shark swimming in the estuary. I've mentioned before in this show how I've always felt cheated when people talk about sharks but they're actually uh, talking about various types of dogfish or smooth hand and that's exactly what this specimen is but it's a pretty cool thing for somebody to find when they're down at the beach swimming keeping themselves cool in this unseasonably hot weather and they see a dorsal fin coming through the water towards them it's pretty cool even if the fish is only about three foot long and totally harmless to people unless you do really something stupid to it but it's a great story and thank you very much Maxine for giving it to me and that's about it for this episode whilst on the subject of Arthur Ransom's books I recommend them to anybody who likes stories set in the countryside in a gentler and more forgiving time than the one that we are unfortunate enough to live in today. I would also recommend the books of a lady called Julia Jones, who sort of took up the baton left by Arthur Ransom when he died in 1967 and ran with it, because she has written a whole series of books set on the same coastline in Essex, including this river here, and I think they are really something special, so I strongly recommend you check them out as well. Well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I enjoyed doing it. A big, big thank you to Louis and to Miss Maxine for giving the two stories, for Graham, who's still really quite unwell, for looking after me despite it all, and of course to all of you who are right there agog and waiting for the next episode. When is the next episode, I hear you ask? Well, there's an episode out on Saturday afternoon. What's in it? Oh, come on, I've already told you every time I never know what's in the next one because I do them reasonably um, consecutively. And I've got ideas for this next episode, but I really am, wouldn't like to bet on it one way or the other. But I will be here on Saturday afternoon with a new show, and I'll be here again on Friday, on Wednesday. Why did I say Friday? I'm going to be drinking brandy on Friday evening because it's the end of the week. But I will be here on Wednesday, that's next Wednesday evening at five o'clock, with another on the track extra. And although I do have a pretty good idea what's going to be in that one, you're just going to have to wait and see. <coughs> Electric eels. And with that, be seeing you. <laughs>